Here we go. Time for some social distancing. Today, me and Farah are going out for our exercise and we are going to head for the local water tower. Something that we've seen many, many times, but we've never actually been to. Let's go. So we have just found what is possibly the bizarrest van we have ever seen. Take a look at this. Is that a dead bird on the side? Ugh, that's gross. Dad, come look at this. It's a dead black bird, like on the van. Whoa, that's a strange coincidence. Strange. Yuck. I imagine if you were superstitious, you could read a lot into that. But we're not. So let's carry on. So there's our water tower. Pretty ominous looking structure sat high above the town. These days it's hidden behind that housing estate over there, covered in mobile phone masks. But 20 to 30 years ago, it was bare, just sat lurking amongst the trees. As kids, my brother and I used to liken it to one of John Christopher's tripods from the 1980s TV series. Huge alien walking machines that kidnap human beings with long mechanical arms. Sci-fi was so much cooler back then. Onwards, let's head to the tower. Social distancing requires you to keep two metres away from other people. And it's easier said than done when you're in a confined space like at the start of this video. That's more like social dis-dancing as you shuffle around trying to keep your distance. In an open space though, it's a much more swervy experience. And that's what happened to us today as a steady stream of people coming down the hill caused us to take a little detour where we found this interesting mound. It was quite a peculiar looking thing. We didn't really have any idea what it was. Do you think you can climb up these steps? Probably. Really? Yeah. Let's do it. We tried to find out some more information about this mysterious mound, but there was nothing on the internet, nothing on the historic websites, and nothing on the archaeological maps. In these circumstances, there's only one place to go. Pokemon Go! Apparently, it was an abandoned mine. Though even armed with this knowledge, we couldn't really find anything on this site. But we did find information showing that there used to be mines under the local Tesco and also beneath the new housing estate. But nothing really here. I guess we'll just have to take Pokemon's word for it and flick over to TikTok before we leave. But we've got to keep it focused, because Farah says so. We will get to this tower at some point.
So here we are, we've reached the top of the water tower. The tower itself was fenced off, so we couldn't really get any closer. After a quick breather, we turned around and headed home. We looked back at the tower as we headed back to the estate, and to our surprise, a large mechanical arm with a human being dangling on the end had appeared. But no sci-fi, just phone engineers. The next day I headed for the shop. I'd been caught out by the early closing hours of Easter. Surprisingly, little was open. No social distancing worries here. As I crossed the railway bridge, I heard a train approaching and I paused for a moment to take a look at the sunset. And for some reason, I suddenly recollected that there used to be an old train station here, serving the former mine that now sits beneath Tesco. I popped my head around the corner of the bridge, and to my surprise, I found an old set of disused steps. Maybe they were connected to the old mine. Who knows? While I'm passing this part of town, I just have to show you this. This is the garden of the flower pot men. I'm not quite home yet, and something very weird is happening on the other side of the street. It looks like they're doing some sort of live stream. Take a look at this. <laughs> very cool. 